So, what other what common slip ups are there? A lot of people like to use common cliches. <laughs> See that a lot. Yep. Uh, and some even not so common cliches. <laughs> I'm thinking of. Uh, like it's a no-brainer. That that's not a particularly recent one, but it is a lot more recent. Than, uh, <laughs> well, it's certainly a, a, a late twentieth-century one. Uh, total no-brainer. Don't 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 use that. Uh, business jargon. Some of this makes me laugh. I mean, some. I was I was, I was um, editing somebody's website this morning, and they were bragging about the fact that they were Web two point zero. And I thought, well, what is the point? You know, that 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 is already out of date. Uh, Web 2.0 was quite a long time ago, and and there's really no point. Another one I love, and do you know what? This is very very common. It's 24 by 7 by 365. I don't know if you do sums, but that's seven years, isn't it? 24 by 7 by 365. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I went on Google just to see how many people did this. One and a half million hits. I went for the more accurate 24 by 7 by 52, 14,000 hits. Does that make me wrong? It drives me nuts. So business jargon, don't, well, jargon and cliches, if, 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 it's, if it's commonly said, don't say it because you may as well use your own words and, and be original and be respected for being original rather than being seen as some tired old hack. Adverbs. Adverbs. These are words that are used to decorate things. So, she smiled happily. She's doing it now. <laughs> is there any other way? Maybe there is. But wouldn't it be grimaced if somebody did something different? I, mean, I don't know. You don't need the happily. It's not necessary. So you, lots of words end in ly. Now I'm not saying they're all the adverbs in the world end in ly, but you know if things end in ly and they're stuck onto a verb. There's a very good chance it's a, it's an adverb and it's not necessary. Uh, you've got to be sensitive these days. You've got to be sensitive to race. You've got to be sensitive to gender. And I think you probably know that. But it's very easy to slip into um, the wrong form of words. If, if you were talking about a day in the life of a university student, you could imagine slipping into, and he would go down the shops for coffee, or something like that. I don't know if you'd say that. But I like the accent, doesn't you, <laughs> you could You could say... Uh, University students tend to go down the, 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 the cafe, uh, down the shops for coffee, or they, because you already know that you're talking about university students, they go down the shops for coffee every morning, or whatever. I mean, it's a really stupid example. But you see, you can, you can, you can get away from the he and she um, by moving to they. 